Hi, in this video, we will be talking about how to ask for a favor in English. Asking for a favor refers to asking someone to do something for you. Use these phrases to politely ask for a favor. When someone asks you for a favor, you'll have to either grant it, say yes, or refuse it, say no. Pay special attention to the form of the verb used in each case. Let's look at the first one. Could you do me a favor? And would you do me a favor? Could you do me a favor is used to find out if someone will do a favor for you as a way to begin the conversation. The form, would you do me a favor, is more formal. For example, would you do me a favor? Or could you do me a favor? The next one is, could you please, plus verb. Use the simple form of the verb do to ask for help with the specific actions such as asking for help in daily situations. For example, could you please take me to work? Or could you please lend me a hand? The third one is, could you possibly plus verb. Use the simple form of the verb to ask for help with the specific situations while being extremely polite. For example, could I possibly take some time off to help? Or, could you possibly work overtime today? Let's look at the fourth one. Could I ask, or could I bother, or could I trouble you, plus infinitive. Use the infinitive form of the verb, to do, to ask for a favor in formal situations. For example, could I ask you to help my brother? Or, could I bother you to give me a ride to work? Or, could I trouble you to open the door for me? Now, look at number five. Would you mind plus verb plus ing? Use the gerund form of the verb doing to ask for a favor in everyday situations. Here are some examples. Would you mind closing the window? Or would you mind cooking dinner tonight? Number six, would it be too much trouble for you plus infinitive? Use this form with the infinitive to ask for a favor in very formal situations. For example, would it be too much trouble for you to let me come in late tomorrow? Or would it be too much trouble for you to take a look at this letter? Number seven, may I plus birth. Use the simple form of the verb with may when the favor you're asking requires permission. For example, may I leave the class early? Or may we use your telephone? In the examples that I mentioned in this video, I had been talking about infinitive, but what are the infinitive verbs? The infinitive form of a verb is a verb in its basic form. It is the version of the verb which will appear in the dictionary. The infinitive form of a verb is usually preceded by two, for example, to run, to dance, to think. The infinitive form, however, is not always preceded by two. Here are some examples of the infinitive form that are not preceded by two. For example, I need to run every day. The infinitive form with the word to is called the full infinitive or to infinitive. The next example, I must run every day. After certain verbs, the to is dropped. The word to is not a preposition. It is often called the sign of the infinitive. And the last example is, I run every day. This is not in the infinitive form. This is a finite verb. In other words, a verb functioning as the main verb. Thank you for watching. I'll upload more quick videos like this. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please hit the subscribe button now. Have a great time.